Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about iOS 15.4.1 update that Apple released yesterday for iPhones and iPads. Especially for iPhone, Apple promises to fix fast battery drain problem that some iPhone users were facing after updating to 15.4. Apple also released macOS 12.3.1 with a couple of bug fixes. We will see about that in this episode. I also like to share my suggestions that you have to understand after and before updating to the iOS 15.4. 4.1. So the very first thing we have to check is the battery performance, the overall status of the battery and battery health after updating to 15.4.1. I have updated my iPhone 13 Pro yesterday night around 12 a.m. and I left it in charge to fill up to 99 percentage as you can see the idle battery drain percentage was gradually decreasing it's okay it's decent and then when using the iphone as you can see from the below activity graph reduce was also normal and 50 percent battery left around 6 17 pm the battery health percentage is still maintained at 100%. I have bought this iPhone when uh, the iPhone 13 Pro was released. And following the simple charging practices, I'm able to maintain it uh, so far with 100%. I'll leave a link to a couple of battery maintaining tips. And uh, you know, if there is a sudden decrease in the battery health, you don't have to panic. You have to understand some things about the iPhone battery and management. I'll leave two of those episodes in the description and, and in the first comment, I'll pin that. Do check that out. So in this iOS 15.4.1 update, Apple have come up with three important bug fixes. The very first thing is the battery drain problem. From the follow-up video we have published two to three weeks before, as you can see the iPhone XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and the iPhone even 13 Pro Max, which had positive feedback since the release of iOS 15, users were complaining that their battery drain was quite you know high compared to the previous iOS 15 updates. Another important problem that some some users were reported is the iPhone was not charging after 80 percentage it got stuck for a long time even though the iPhone is left in charge and this happens after updating their iPhone to iOS 15.4 there are two possible reasons that I like to clarify in, at this moment because if there are temperature rise in your iPhone not just at 80 percent even before that the iPhone will automatically reduce or cut off the charging speed to your iPhone so if you are in a region where currently you are going through summer season and your room temperature is quite high then possibilities are there that your iPhone while charging may produce a little more heat that affects the charging speed as well. Apart from that if there is any software bug that is causing the problem then you should immediately update to the 15.4.1 to address such issue and the problem could possibly be fixed. The second important bug fix that they have done is for people who have difficulty seeing and using the Braille devices then looks like 15.4 was causing some issue with the navigation of texts and displaying an alert so that problem uh, have been addressed in this update. Also made for iPhone hearing devices that people who have difficulty in hearing you know properly were using any third party accessories that is compatible with the iPhone may not be able to maintain the connection so that problem also also addressed and fixed in this specific update. Along with that, there is one additional important security update that Apple have released with 15.4.1, which is fixing a serious high risk kernel related security exploit in iOS 15.4.1. So it is important to update immediately if, if you are security conscious and make sure you update your iPhone and iPad to the latest 15.4.1 version. And of course, after four days, I will bring a follow up video after collecting responses from users who have updated to the 15.4.1 based on each iPhone model specific feedback. Even though this is a minor update, Apple have mentioned they have addressed some battery related fixes in it. So it is important to bring a follow-up video at the earliest. The next important update is macOS 12.3.1 and Apple have brought you know two important bug fixes with this specific update. Number one, for Mac mini 2018 models, some users were facing difficulty with extended display when they are connected with USB-C to Thunderbolt display monitors. So that connectivity problem have been fixed in this update. Also, they have fixed gaming controllers facing some connectivity related problems maintaining the bluetooth connectivity with their mac computer for example if you are playing apple arcade in your mac computer and using any gaming controllers like playstation ps controllers or xbox one controllers then you may face 
some connectivity related problems, frequent disconnection of those gaming uh, controllers. So that particular problem also addressed and fixed in this update. Apart from that, normally Apple releases each software update with more than 1 GB in size. I believe they should consider making the Mac updates somewhat data friendly. Even for minor updates like this, releasing, you know, some unknown, of course, bug fixes might be there in the behind the scene. Huge size of Mac OS updates definitely need some consideration from Apple. Have you updated to iOS 15.4.1 in your iPhone? Share your feedback in the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.